Tonight, there's a threat of flash floods, hail and tornadoes from Texas to Illinois. A tornado plowed through Mayfield, Kentucky yesterday, injuring nearly a dozen people. Jerika Duncan is there. As her neighbors picked up the pieces, Angie Winfrey was in tears. This is all that remains of her home. It's just kind of hard to look. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Randall Reed captured this video while working at Shelby Automotive in Mayfield. It didn't look that big from where we were standing until it crossed the road right here. We had no idea how, how dangerous it was. Holy mackerel, there goes that. The twister packed winds of up to 140 miles oh. per hour. The funnel cloud, which spanned more than four oh football fields wide, destroyed virtually everything in its path for 17 miles. I was really thinking I wasn't going to make it. Marty Winfrey saw the tornado coming, ran from his home, and held onto a tree for survival. And I seen that tree, and I thought that's the only chance I'm going to have. His wife Angie was at work during the storm. It can all be replaced. It can all be replaced. It's just hard to see it. The space littered with cinder blocks is where the double wide trailer used to be. But the tornado force winds carried that home into the neighbor's house and even twisted this steel foundation around that tree several times. Cleanup efforts are underway, but people here in Mayfield say it could take weeks before mounds of debris are gone. The National Weather Service reports that at least one vehicle was thrown 150 yards from where it was parked. Scott, the last time this region experienced a tornado like this was in 2013. Sadly, three people died. Jerika Duncan, thank you.